Royals trying to snap a six-game skid, hosting the Cubs. Heath Fillmeyer on the hill looking for his first career win, and it would get off to a bit of a nerve-wracking start, leading off the game, the birthday boy, Anthony Rizzo, at the dish. Ouch. And that hit Fillmeyer. And it sounded solid. Boy, he's doing a great job by not limping. And you talk about his toughness from Philly, you know, from the Jersey area. That hurt. And a pop-up. So Phil Meyer hangs in there after getting hit by a line drive. Kubutera in his last 10 games, 9 for 33. And now he has the count in his favor. Here is the pitch. Ground ball past the third baseman Bode up the left field line. One run is in, two runs are in. And Butera at second base with a double. Phil Meyer is just rolling along, retiring 16 out of 17. And now the tying run is at first base with one out. Strike over the outside. So he buckled down after the two hits. And here comes Ned Yost. And Ned's going to leave him in. And if he gets the out, it'll be the first time in his big league career that he's pitched seven innings. Popped up. Mondesi's got it. What a job by Heath Fillmeyer. And way to go, Ned Yost, for leaving the kid in. He gets that last out. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning of play. The Royals two, the Cubs nothing. And Mondesi cranks it deep to left center field. It is gone and into the water. Five nothing Royals. Fascio drives it into the alley in left center, and that's going to reach the fence on a few hops. One run is in, and stopping at third will be Duda. Now the ball gets away, and Duda will score, and Bonifacio ends up at third base, so it would appear that the Cubs are cooked. The Royals snap a six-game skid, blanking the Cubs 9-0. Heath Fillmeyer gets his first career win, going seven scoreless innings, allowing just three hits. Jorge Bonifacio, two hits and three runs scored. Brett Phillips with two hits and scores twice.